Hey guys, Doug here at Trigger King, uh, here with another tech video for you. And today uh, we're going to talk SMT10 modifications. This is another thing you guys in the comments have been asking about. Um, you know, what are we doing to these SMT10s to get them to hold together uh, when we race these? So this is my rotten apple truck. This is my sport mod. And um, I recently won a championship in this one finally, and it's got about a year on it. So I figure this one's good to talk about. Um, this truck has a shortened wheelbase over the standard SMT10. This is an RH Designs uh, short wheelbase shortening kit, and uh, this one here, and I'll take the body off. By the way, this is a J Concepts uh, 51 Ford panel truck. It fits great if you shorten the wheelbase. So these links and the uh, sway bars, it's all part of the uh, RH Designs short wheelbase kit. And this truck actually has the prototype on it still. This is the very first one that uh, Ross built, and we put it on this truck as a prototype. And I've liked it so much, I've just kept it on there. So uh, this truck has about a year on it now. So you might notice here these headers. Uh, these are different. Um, the stock ones, these are the ones that come on the, uh, the Grave Digger, um, these stock chrome ones. RH Designs makes these Monster Jam style downward pointed collector headers, so I just thought they looked cool on the truck. One of the other things you're going to want to do on the SMT10, it rides too high when you get it from the, uh, you know, out of the box. So we relocate the shocks, um, we actually put them up in these holes right here. And uh, as long as you've got a, a little screw kit, you know, with a nut on the other side, you can mount them that way, and it brings your four links parallel. And um, that's whether you, you are on a short wheelbase truck or a long wheelbase, and I'll talk about a long wheelbase here in a second. Uh, but this is a, a sport mod again, so the other thing on it, it's got a 17 turn motor in it. You're going to want to have to get the, the stock ESC out of there. For some reason, that one comes with drag brake with a 50%. It's the least amount, and that on a monster truck. You're going to want something else. This one, I can't really show you easily the ESC, um, but I'm using the uh, some dynamite ESCs that I pulled out of a short course truck. I actually like it so much I've got them on both of my sport mods. So they're like $30 new, and um, I've blown one of them. This one actually recently I blew up a Traxxas XL5 because I've got it geared too high, um, but again, that's racing. So hopefully the, uh, the dynamite one will last a little bit longer. But um, I guess it's a good way to say, you know, into gearing. Uh, for sport mod trucks, again, we want to gear as high as we can because we can only use pretty much one kind of motor. Um, this one has shifted between a 17 and an 18 tooth. I tried to fit a 19 tooth in there. It would not fit. So I use an 18 tooth with hardly any gear mesh. I do not recommend that for bashing because you will overheat the truck. Again, I blew an ESC on this. It's great for racing because we're only running for like two minutes at a time. But if you're going to go out there and run for a while... I would leave the stock 16 tooth in it with whatever you're going to put in it, whether that's a high-end brushless or whatever. The 16 tooth is fine. If you're in a racing application, though, sky's the limit, really. The other big thing, of course, is the tires. The stock ones are they're too small. These are J Concepts, Renegades, and Tributes. Pretty much, these are standard equipment on anything that we run in any of our any of our monster trucks, all of our classes. This also speeds the truck up a little bit because it's they're taller tires and everything. It kind of ups your gear ratio. So you want to remember that in tandem when you're going from the stock gearing with a stock truck with smaller tires and you add bigger tires with bigger gearing on it, you're doing two things at once for it. So you want to be cognizant of your temperatures, you know, if you're going to be bashing for a while. Other thing on this truck I use, uh, this is an incision steering. I still have the stock servo on this, you know. I was going to take it off. I just haven't done that yet. It's just one of those things where I've never got around to it. If it ever blows or goes bad or I feel like it's costing me, I'll change it. But I just haven't needed to do it yet. So uh, that's pretty much it on this. You don't really need a ton for the sport mod, you know, to be competitive. All right, so this is my SMT10 Pro mod, and uh, this one is a, takes a little bit more work to get it, you know, to uh, up to snuff because um, I guess starting off, it's got a 6.5 motor in it, so it's a lot faster, 6.5 brushless. Uh, but before getting into that, the body on this, uh, this is a J Concept 79 Ford, the uh, the super cab version of it. I kind of did the little cheat thing I talked about in the uh, the body video to where. Um, it kind of it looks more like a, a single cab with I've got this racer back on it uh, And the racer back does not come with this truck I just had some racer backs laying around so it doesn't come with the 79 body But I put it on there and just kind of faked it to where it looks more like a single cab This truck is stock wheelbase. I left it at the stock length because uh, it sits right around when it's like 13.3 or 13.5 stock and uh, That extra inch really helps when you're talking about the mod trucks because they're just so fast They have so much power it keeps the front end down easier um, I added a sway bar to the front though. You have to have a sway bar on the front as I mentioned before, uh, otherwise it's going to be too roly-poly. Uh, but the sway bar that fits on this is for the Axial Yeti uh, for the rear. 
of a Yeti. It goes just fine on the front. There's no problem there. Uh, I have the same suspension geometry and everything the setup on it as I do the sport mod. Uh, you just want to relocate these shocks so you get your links you know, parallel with the ground. You get down a little bit lower. Tires and wheels are the same as well. Uh, just kind of standard issue. Where things start to get different though uh, with the Pro Mod truck versus the Sport Mod, you have a lot more power. Again, uh, in this truck here, I have uh, the ESC mounted here. It's a, a Gropner 120 Turbo and uh, I have a 6.5 motor in it. So it, it hauls the mail and we need a lot of power in the Pro Mod trucks. This thing is outgunned compared to some of the clods because they're running twin setups like this. So uh, it's not a huge deal though. This truck's pretty competitive with them, um, but they are a little bit outgunned. Gearing on this thing, I had it geared at 11 tooth and that was way too low actually, even with a 6.5 motor. So I brought it up to 16 tooth. That's probably where you want to be. Uh, if you stay 16 tooth, you shouldn't be running too hot. I wouldn't gear any higher than that if you're running a hot motor because the motor's where you're going to get the power from anyways, not the gearing. So also the servo, I've got a, a high tech 7955 TG. It's titanium gear. Uh, I think this one's around like 350 ounces of torque. I have an external BEC added. You have to um, when the servo's sucking that much juice or you're going to have brownouts. So I love this servo on the truck. Uh, you definitely want high... You definitely want a high torque servo if you're going to do all the rest of it. That truck has to be pointed where you're going to go. Oh, and you know, another quick aside here. You might notice the steering on this is stock still. I've got an incision kit, but I figured, you know what, I'll just leave this on and see how it is. And I actually really like the axial, the stock setup on it. I don't think they really need the incision stuff. And again, this is a Pro Mod truck. I freestyled it. I've raced for a few months with it now. I haven't had a problem. So uh, I figure if something that really gets into a bind... I would rather this be the weak point, just bend this, and then I can throw an incision one on versus you know popping a knuckle or something like that. And uh, speaking of the knuckles, it has full aluminum. I know you can't really see it well here, but you've got full aluminum knuckles and the C-hubs on it. Uh, on the rear, I've got aluminum lockouts as well. You can't really see it very well, uh, but these are the critical points on the axles. You need those for the high power if you're gonna be jumping and everything. Otherwise, you're gonna start splitting the plastic knuckles you know, left and right. And uh, I guess the last part here, you know, would be the transmission. Again, this is, it's tough to show this really, so I just mainly got to talk about it. But um, I have a full hot racing steel and aluminum transmission. Everything on this, uh, from the housing to the, the gears, everything is steel or aluminum. I did this because I started melting the stock transmissions with a 6.5 motor. And uh, this, it's, it's worked great. I have them mated with um, Axial Wraith MIP drive shafts. So pretty much the drive shaft, the whole drivetrain is bulletproof back to the, the axles. And I figure I've got gears, I can swap those out. I've never, you know, melted a ring and pinion though yet, you know, knock on wood. But um, it's held together good. This truck can run with the mod clods. The, uh, it, it's a super competitive class and I don't feel like I'm at a disadvantage. You know, they, the mod clods have their own set of idiosyncrasies. These things, I think the S&T tins that handle so well is what I like. I know a lot of people have wondered, can the chassis hold up to the abuse? I've, I mean, thus far, I've been, my chassis has been fine. Um, I haven't had a lot of cage hits on it yet. I guess that could change things out, but I figure these plastic parts are so cheap. If I break something, I can just swap it out easy. So again, that's my Pro Mod SMT 10. And uh, hopefully these trucks, they give you some ideas on what you want to do. If you want to turn your stock SMT 10 into more of a real monster truck or even go racing with them. So I know some people think they can't. Well, they, the trucks, they can race. They, they think they're competitive and they can hold together if you do the proper mods on them. So Thanks for watching. Hopefully that answers your questions. We'll see you next time.